Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be looking at a few Shure condenser microphones going through a $200, $300, $400 and $500 microphone, going through the build quality, the features and most importantly the sound quality to hopefully help you find the perfect microphone for your home studio setup. <gasps> So before we jump into these cool microphones and have a look at what they're all about, I'd first like to give a huge shout out to Sweetwater for sending me these products and for sponsoring today's video. For those of you guys that don't know, I purchase all my studio equipment from Sweetwater.com because they always have the latest equipment, they always have so much variety to pick from and the customer service along the way is also just so so good, there's no better place to shop when it comes to studio gear. If you end up being interested in any of these microphones, after watching this video I will leave some links down below and if you're actually looking for something else for your setup or maybe an instrument or something like that I'll make sure to leave a link down below of Sweetwater store as well. Now to get back to the Shure condenser microphones for a lot of us we know Shure for the MV7, SM7B, SM58, 57 all of these dynamic type microphones but we don't really know them that well for the condenser microphones that they make just because their dynamic range does so 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 well but as someone that's been looking at the best microphones in the world and comparing so many different microphones I can say that sure makes some really good condenser microphones and at these different price points they really do tick a lot of boxes especially for those of you in a home studio type environment now the first sure condenser microphone that I have here set up and ready to go is the sure PGA 27 and this microphone will cost you around $200 coming in a sleek all black finish that really does look clean and classy and because this microphone has a little bit of weight to it in terms of build quality it does feel really really solid and sturdy and it's definitely a durable product that should last at least 10 to 20 years especially if you do take good care of it when we look at the features of this microphone it does come with a roll off and attenuation switch and in terms of accessories it comes with a nice shock mount and a carry-on case for on the go travel now when we look at the frequency response of this microphone for two hundred dollars it really did surprise me when you look at the low end of microphones around this price usually you have a slight cutoff where with this microphone you're getting exactly the low end that you need it's nice and flat and even though the high end has a few bumps up there and it might be a little bit bright the low end is definitely going to balance that out and give you a nice warm sounding microphone as you can hear when you move on to the Shure SM27, this condenser microphone will cost you around $300, still coming with the same shape and design as the previous PGA27, but instead of an all black finish, this microphone comes in a grey metallic type touch that's also really clean and classy, and at $300 it still has that nice microphone weight to it, so it does feel solid and sturdy in terms of build quality as well. When we look at the accessories that you get with this microphone, you still get a nice shock mount that looks really clean and classy when fully set up, but unfortunately you do not get a carry-on bag for on-the-go travel or for storing this microphone, which might be a little bit of a letdown for the extra price. Now. When we look at the frequency response of the SM27, this is one part of this microphone that also really stands out. When we look at the low end side of things, you definitely have a slight bump up there, where if you are a female artist or somebody that sings in high frequencies, maybe a tenor type vocalist, you're definitely going to get a great balance with the low end to keep your vocal nice and warm. And even though you still have those bump ups on the high end, the balance is just so much better with the extra low end that your vocal is going to feel nice and tight and warm warm and really good sounding as you can hear. Now this next Shure condenser microphone is a classic and the microphone I'm talking about is the Beta 27. This microphone will cost you around $400 and even though it still has that Shure type design and shape it comes in a nice clean and classy design with this nice Shure Beta logo on the front that's super clean and classy and overall I'm just a big fan of the design. In terms of the build quality for the price you can expect nothing less than a solid 
solid durable product and in terms of accessories you are getting a nice leather zipper bag for on the go travel or for storing the microphone but on the other end you are not getting a shock mount you are just getting a basic stand connector which for the $400 price could be a little bit of a letdown. Now because this is the classic Beta 27 you are getting a really good frequency response with this microphone hence the reason it is so so popular. When you look at the low end you're still getting that slight bump up that we also saw with the previous SM27 but instead of having so many bumps on the high end with the Beta 27 you're getting a little bit less of those bumps and a little bit more of a flatter type frequency response which at the end of the day is going to give you a warm flat type vocal that really makes your vocal stand out and sound the way that it naturally does and it's for this exact reason why this microphone is so so popular now the final Shure condenser microphone that i have here today set up and ready to go is the king of them all and the microphone i'm talking about is the 500 dollars ksm32 this microphone comes in a sleek all black design that's really clean and classy and you can tell that this microphone has a lot more going on since it's bigger than the previous three microphones we've looked at when you look at the back of this microphone it comes with a clean classy silver logo that's really also just such a nice touch for the $500 price tag. When we look at the features of this microphone it also includes a roll off and attenuation switch and in terms of accessories we are unfortunately not getting a shock mount again we are just getting a basic stand connector which might be a little bit of a letdown for the $500 price tag but on the other hand you are getting a nice carry on bag for on the go travel or for storing the microphone. So now that we've gone through these condenser microphones there's only one thing left to do and that is a singing test. This is the evening of the day I sit and watch the children play Smiling faces I can see but they not made for me I sit and watch as tears go by I my riches can't buy everything I want to hear the children sing All I hear is the sound of rain falling on the ground I sit and watch as tears go by I, this is the evening of the day I sit and watch the children play With smiling faces I can see But they not made for me I sit and watch as tears go by Aye. Okay, so now that we're done with those pretty average vocal recordings, it's time to move on to my final take of the Shure Condenser microphones. And starting off with the PGA27, I must say for $200, this microphone sounds really, really good. That extra low end that you get for the price gives you a nice warm sound. And even though you every now and then still have that tinny feel of a cheap microphone, the balance is good there overall. And I think for $200 with everything you get with this microphone, it's a great product for those of you starting out in a home studio environment whereas when you move on to the SM27 and the Beta 27 these microphones are a little bit more solid in terms of build and in terms of sound quality they're also a little bit warmer you can hear that low end the balance between the lows the mids and the highs are also a little bit better and you just feel like the microphone is a nicer feel and a little bit more emotional when you record because the balance is so so much better but 
When you move on to the KSM32, this microphone also has that low end and it has a great mid-range and also some good high frequencies. But what makes this microphone really nice to me is the clarity that you get with it. You have this crispness on your vocals, similar to a Neumann type product where for $500 that isn't usually something you see in a microphone. This microphone sounds amazing when I was doing my vocal recordings and just listening to myself, that crispy, clean vocal. And it's not crispy like a harsh frequency or anything like that it's just such a nice detail sound in your vocal with the extra low end that's just so so good for this microphone and for the price i must say it's one of my new favorites so that brings this video to an end of my review and comparison of shura's pga 27 sm 27 beta 27 and ksm 32 condenser microphones and just to remind that if you're interested in these mics i will leave some links down below if you have any questions about today's video just leave a comment down below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it subscribe down below and i will see you for another video next time